Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this uh, Casa Mamita uh, Steak and Cheese Chimichanga. Chimichanga. Chimichanga? Chimichanga? Chimichanga. Uh, this one is made with real cheese, 0% um, trans fat or per serving. We bought these at Aldi. It's only 79 cents, so it's, uh, that one's pretty cheap. So it's steak and cheese. Uh, let's see. It is... 350 calories for the entire um, chimichanga. I'm going to show other information for you. And the directions are on the other side of the fold. So you can put this in the oven if you want to. Of course, we're not going to, but you could if you wanted to. Um, so this is frozen. So we're going to open one into the wrapper, which I already have. Microwave and high for one minute and 30 seconds to one minute and 45, or until hot when heating to increase the heating time. Ovens vary, um, that's it. So I would probably do somewhere in the middle. I'll probably do 140. Yeah, I'll do 140. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty safe. So anyway, this is what it kind of looks like. I'm gonna leave it in the package. It, this is, it looks like a burrito, pretty much. So I'm gonna leave it in this package, put it on this paper plate right here, and to get it in the microwave for 140, and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. I did not touch it once I took it out of the microwave. This is. This is actually what it looked like. I guess it got steam behind it and it like pushed the burrito out or popped the bag back or something. Anyway, that's exactly how I got it out of the microwave. I just thought it was funny that it kind of popped it out like a, like a cork or something. Um, you can see how it sticks too. So if you wanted to use a regular, if it stayed in the bag, it wouldn't have stuck. But um, I'm trying to get it to, to make a teetotal mess because it's got some stuff hanging off the edge. So anyway, I'm going to get this back on the plate and then I'll let you know what it looks like inside. See it kind of made a mess so I'll have to make sure I clean up. So uh, I cut it in half so you can see inside and look at it has a, a little bit of meat in there. Um, this is steak and cheese. It looks more like hamburger but um, anyway I'm going to to cool off and I'll be right back. Okay it's that time to cool off so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try this bite right here. There's not a ton of meat in there but I think some of the meat. I'll try the other side too just to make sure That tortilla is really good and soft. It's almost like a, um, it's almost like it's been deep fried like an egg roll almost. It's not as crispy, but it has that same kind of um, texture and flavor, kind of like a layered texture. Um, it's got a little bit of spice to it, but it's not like, wow, that's spicy spice. It's just a really nice peppered spice. I mean, I mean, there's a little tingle there. If you don't like hot food at all, you probably wouldn't like it, but if you don't mind just a little bit of spice, I think it'd be fine with this, but I love the flavor of the tortilla, whatever it's called. And um, because of chimichurri, I don't know if it's called a tortilla at this point. But anyway, whatever it's wrapped in, I like it. Um, I like the flavor of the meat. I like the cheese. I like the spices in there. It's a little runny. You can kind of see, I took a bite and see how, see how squishy that is. Um, it's a very runny kind of in, inside. Not bad, you just know that it's a little runny. You probably don't want to eat this in your car. <laughs> Literally cheese and um, stuff is dripping out of the back end. I like that, I like that quite a bit. I'm gonna give it a four. 79 cents at Aldi, worth every penny of it. I think it's really, really good. It has a good, really good flavor to it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a bean, the bean flavor that I'm getting out of that. I'm sure there's beans in this. It doesn't say there's beans, but it sure tastes like beans. Um, but yeah, steak and cheese is really good. Now, the steak is not like shredded steak. It's more like ground up really fine hamburger almost, but um, a really fine steak. Uh, but it's I like the flavors. I like the spices. That's the biggest thing. And I don't mind that it's a little runny inside because it's just all the, the cheese and stuff in there. So I don't mind that at all. So I'm definitely going to give it a four. If you shop at Aldi, you should try one of these. They're really, really good. It only takes a minute and 40 in the microwave. And the tortilla itself um, is not hard. Sometimes these burritos and stuff like that really dry out and get like hard, like crunchy hard, like you can't even eat them hard. And the back end, and this one's not, it's still really soft. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.